So in 2007, Kanye saw a season of Kirby Enthusiasm on TV and thought, I could do that. This wasn't the first time he'd try and rip off a popular show either. He did it with the Muppets and tried to make his own version of them. It went about as well as could be expected. But his Kerb knockoff is something else. It even has Leon in it, JB Smooth. Oh, and Jeff Garland, who plays Larry's manager in Kerb, is in the pilot for one scene. He doesn't have any lines. Not sure why he's there, really. Now, he's not the first person to try and rip off Kerb, or even the first person to try and rip off Kerb and take the actors from it. Paul Reiser tried to do his own Kerb-type show years ago, and even got Larry David to appear in an episode. But that show bombed, and I'm pretty sure it's lost media now. But hey, if they can find Kanye's show, I'm sure they can find Paul Reiser's one. At least that show actually aired. One of the comments on the YouTube video of this leaked pilot described it quite well saying, this feels AI generated, it feels like this was made in the future, but by some Kanye fan that also loves Kerb. They then go on to say that it's funny, which it certainly is not, but we'll ignore that bit, the rest of it is spot on. Now there is a world where this pilot has potential, and we'll be talking about how you could save this thing in a bit, but for the meantime, just trust me, it isn't beyond saving, despite how much I'm gonna trash it in this video. Now, I wanna talk about this leaked pilot episode, because wow, it is dreadful. But first, I better explain how it was found. So a few days ago, it was uploaded by a user going by this name. I've got no idea how you pronounce it, but I'll chuck it up on screen now. He had uploaded the full 28 minute pilot episode that Kanye sent to HBO in 2007 in the hopes of getting it picked up for a full season. It was titled A Little Inappropriate and follows a day in Kanye's life as he fulfills a Make-A-Wish Foundation request, only to discover that the young fan he visits isn't actually dying. Now, the pilot was originally found on Larry Charles' Vimeo account. The guy who uploaded it to YouTube wanted to preserve it, which is why he downloaded the video before Larry Charles privated his Vimeo. And now we have it, a wonderful piece of lost media found, but man, is this pilot awful? I suppose we can't delay talking about it any longer. You genuinely have no idea how painful this thing was to watch. Now, the thing that stood out to me about this pilot was how very uncanny Kanye is. See, on Kerb, the main actor, Larry David, is the curmudgeon who is always causing trouble. But Kanye is the practical one in the crew in this show. Someone must have taught him about playing the straight man and told him that he didn't have the acting chops to be the instigator or the weird one. It feels like the only way this pilot happened is that back in 2007, Kanye wasn't surrounded by as many yes men as he is now, because if he made this today, he would have been Kramering all over the place, while at the same time talking about how cool he was. But he comes across as quite reserved in this pilot. So the pilot starts with Kanye and his entourage in the car, on the way to a CD signing. This opening goes on for 10 minutes too long. It's genuinely just clip after clip of everyone shouting on the phone. It is so terribly unfunny. Look, I'll play a clip from it so you know that I'm not just trashing it for no reason. You and I can why, hang out. Why would you give Ike to my Right, and Kanye. You and I and Kanye. No, I'm and maybe you your friend Teresa, we it's can all you. hang out. Not me, you and, and I can have, if you I can have a menage. Terrible, isn't it? He then goes to a CD signing where he painfully shows every single person in line rapping for him, hoping to get signed up to Kanye's label. It's clear that Kanye saw season one of Curb and went, Oh, people love this because it's awkward and cringe, without considering how, you know, Curb actually has joke and talented actors. He then has to go to a hotel to visit a sick teenager because he promised to make a wish foundation. The kid does a rap which goes on for far, far too long, during which we cut to the entourage in the corridor shouting at each other again. It's sensory overload is what it is, 
It's just terrible. His entourage is made up of some genuinely funny people. That's JB Smooth from Curb, and that's the woman from Young and Hungry. But instead of them being funny, they just shout over each other. The concept of the show was to infuse scripted moments with improvisation, like Curb does, allowing the actors to riff off each other and create funny moments on the spot. Unfortunately, this really doesn't work. Kanye recognised his own limitations as an improviser and sought to surround himself with a talented cast that could actually make the show funny. He drew inspiration from Jerry Seinfeld, who had once mentioned how important it is to surround yourself with better talented people. Anyone who's watched Seinfeld knows that Jerry is the worst actor on the show, but of course, the difference there is that Jerry Seinfeld is actually a talented comedian, while Kanye is very much not. I always get the impression that Kanye is only ever half paying attention to stuff, because he clearly didn't take away what he should have from Jerry Seinfeld's success. There's a famous improv group in New York called the Upright Citizens Brigade, and it was founded by people like Matt Besser, Amy Poehler, and that guy from Veep, I always forget his name. Well, Kanye asked Matt Besser to teach him private improv lessons in his apartment, so at least he tried to learn how to do it. But however many lessons he had, I promise you, it wasn't enough. Throughout this pilot, Kanye is wearing a Bape hoodie that he keeps zipping up over his face and you can tell he thinks it's the funniest thing to ever be shown on TV. The guy is so out of touch he has no idea what funny is. You're not funny, Kanye. See, what's interesting about this pilot is, HBO's main feedback on it was, we didn't pay for a show with these no-names. Find a way to put some Kanye in this. Which is incredibly ironic considering that the reason why those people are in the show is because Kanye wanted to surround himself with people more talented than him, only for HBO to ask who they were. Yeah, that sounds like Hollywood, alright. The pilot's vibe is reminiscent of early 2000s cable improv comedies, like Curb, Renault 911, It's Always Sunny. It shares that raw, unfiltered quality that those shows had, but the problem is, it simply isn't funny and goes on for too long. Now, I know I've trashed this pilot a lot, but like I said on top of this video, there is one thing that could have fixed it, a good edit. The original 30 minute cut feels disjointed and scenes go on for far, far too long. Kanye's awkward encounter with a woman in front of a Make-A-Wish Foundation kid is a prime example of a cringe moment that overstays its welcome. It seems like Kanye admired Curb, but missed the mark and understood and what makes it genuinely funny. Now, there is a glimmer of hope in the form of a shorter, edited version of the pilot. A YouTuber named Y2K Lemonade took the 30 minute footage and edited it down, and wow, it is incredible. The comedic timing is so much better, and I laughed three times out louder, but he did edit it down from 30 minutes to 8, so it shows you how much usable content there was in it. If Kanye had sent this 8 minute edit to HBO, then it would have been picked up and ran for a few seasons. I was actually laughing at this edit. I didn't laugh at the 30 minute cut once, because the scenes went on for far too long. Like I said before, the scene with the woman and Kanye being awkward and front of the Make-A-Wish kids is dreadful. It's cringe in the worst sort of way. But this editor chops that scene down from 12 minutes to 4 minutes and it actually makes it funny. This is all Kanye needed, a good editor. There's a really funny moment where Kanye makes a joke about the Make-A-Wish kids being dogs and it wasn't funny in the original cut but Y2K Lemonade is such a good editor that he made it funny. I'll play that scene now so you can see it. Yo. What up to all the dying kids? What's up, y'all know y'all my dogs. And you know all dogs go to heaven. And there's a scene in the beginning, in the car, that also made me laugh quite loudly, where they joke about Martin Luther King Boulevard. Martin Luther King! Now, now you know, now, now pronouncing Martin Luther the King Jr.'s name is almost worse than saying nigga. You realize that, right? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know, we're just... Okay, we're on Nigger Boulevard. <laughs> 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 
So this show did have potential, it just needed an edit. The problem is, the way this edit makes Kanye funny is by basically cutting most of the things he said and did. So it shows how untalented of an actor he is and how unfunny he ultimately is. It's unfortunate that the best thing about Kanye's show was when he wasn't speaking. Please, if you watch any version of this piece of lost media, watch Y2K Lemonade's cut of it. It is the only way that this is in any way bearable. He's a really talented editor, and I just know he's got a big future in this field. I'm going to include a link to it in the description because I genuinely think it'll make you laugh. Tell you what, this is a good time to be both a Kanye fan and a lost media fan, as this is the second Kanye West leak this month. A few weeks ago, his doc- documentary for the Donda album was anonymously leaked online. Like I said, good time to be a Kanye fan. Well, you know, if you ignore everything he's doing and saying. Right, I'll wrap this up. Subscribe if you can. We're trying to make it to 3k, so every subscription really helps us out. Right, I'll let you go.